How to make the neon sign effect. Today's video is sponsored by the History Channel. Open your clip in the Fusion page. Bring a planar tracker. Make sure that you are in the first frame, and hit the set button. Change the tracker mode to hybrid, and set the motion type to translation, rotation, scale. Draw a shape around the part that you want to apply the effect, and hit the track to end button. Once the tracker is ready, select to create a planar transform node. Delete the tracker, and add a merge node. Duplicate your clip and bring it in empty space of the flow. Add a rectangle mask, and adjust the size and the position of it to match your sign. Connect the mask to the yellow point of the planar transform node, and then to your second clip as a mask. Bring an edge detect node, change the mode to grayscale edges, and add a color if you want. Adjust the sliders to your liking, but you'll need to come back again. Add a luma kia, bring down the high value, and play around with the sliders of the luma kia and the edge detect node, until you are satisfied with the result. Add a glow node. Bring down the shine threshold, adjust the spread slider to your liking, and give a color to your glow. Right click to the gain slider and select to modify it with shake. Go to the modifiers tab, bring down the smoothness slider, and increase the minimum slider a bit. Connect the glow node to the merge as a foreground. In case that your sign is overlapping a part that you don't want, bring a mask paint node and connect it to the merge. Go to the mask tab, and check the invert box. Now you just need to go through the frames and paint over the part that you want to delete. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, stop complaining about free stuff.